uh, poison too. So that's cloud gates for you. Fortunately, it's high. Um, I used to think this one could be a good with Punisher because it is very fast. Um, comes out at 14 frames and encounters a launcher, but it doesn't have really good range and its rec recovering animation is really long, so. Eh. So. Okay, and then there's uh, his. Um, his DSS homing kick. Uh, it, it's basically back three, but worse. It's slower. Um, does more damage. Well, actually, no, it does less damage. Um, uh, does... It's high, but it tracks all the random, so... I guess out of a DSS cancel, if they start side 7, that's the only time you want to use this one, really. And then Dragon Junkyard Kick. Um, this move is really good for end at last, uh, ending rounds. Because everybody expects a high or a mid out of a DSS, so nobody's gonna be card blocking, really. So, um, this move, it, it, it's really a rare move to see out of DSS, so you do that free low cut, which does 16, I mean 18, so that's pretty good damage, and a counter hit, it's a launcher. It does have that flip over stun, so it might be, um, not as, it might be a little bit harder to, to combo with some characters if you have a different tag partner, so. That's, uh, Dragon Junkyard Kick. Um, what is the frames on this? I don't know. I do not know what the frames on this are. What is this? 4... 4-3? Uh, oh, it's only negative 6. That's pretty good, then. The low kick is, uh, negative 11. What's next? Uh, Quick Cook. Oh, okay, this move is really good. It doesn't have good range, but, um, it has a really long active hitbox, and it has a 2-hit built-in armor, Sabak Perry. So, um, a really good trick is to do, uh, 1 plus 2, I mean, uh, 1, 2, DSS it, and then do, um, um, what is it called, Quick Cook, because, um, any jab retaliation will get snuffed by the armor. Um, so that. Yep, I just tried to jab punch as 1, 2, and I got body for it. No matter what you do. Yeah, even uh, you will even do it in mids. So any highs or mids, any two, anything that's not like three hits in a really consecutive fashion that aren't, that's not a low, um, is ineffective against um, cloud gates. Let me try. Uh... Oh, yeah, I guess you can do dragon tail. But who the hell is gonna do dragon tail against uh, one plus well one two or down two three? I think down two three also works. Yep, down two three also works. I can even. I don't even know you could uh, uh, punch carry that. So that's good. Um, it's also another really good for interrupting people. It's it's a good move if you're not confident with your DSS cancel, and then you can do this to make this safe because the move itself is negative, but um, it's got enormous pushback, and it's only like negative ten, I think. So you're really safe. Even at the, even at the wall, it has pushback. Oops. Well, it's the wall flats. Yeah, even at the wall, it might push back. So, really good. Ab Cruncher, Clock Levels Move, Dragon, Dragon's Fire, what's, what is that? Oh, that's his one throw. Uh, talk about. Okay, I guess talk about his one throw. One throw, it's a good move. It's, it's, it doesn't have an Oki because it knocks him far back, and you can't. You can, it wall splats, but you can't get any. Um, you can't get any wall damage off it because of how long of a recovery it is. Um, so, basically this is a really good move for getting people off of you, um, in case you want to tag or something, but then I guess if you want to tag, you might want to do like a tag throw, like, um, this. But, um, in case you know that, like, you say you're on low health, and then, and then they, they see you throw, and they're like, oh, obviously it's gonna be a tag throw because he wants to get out, then the one throw could be really good because you get a free tag up because of how far knockback it is. Uh, his, um, D says 2 throw. Yeah, Fate's Lab is a really cool throw. I like this throw. Boom, boom, bam! On the floor. Um, you don't get an Oki either because it does not come far back once again. But it is just a cooler, uh, 2 throw. Well, I, I don't suppose if they, they try to get a kick. Let me see if they try to get a kick. Get him a junkyard, maybe. No! 
Oops, I had to grab it first. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's that much. It's that you can't really get a good crazy OP off of this one. At least that I've seen so far. Dragon War, I talked about that one already. It's a bit of the standalone version of uh, One Ford One. Uh, Dragon Shard, it's basically. Um, this is um, 221, this is Dragon's Roar 2212 in. Um, well, Dragon Rage combo in uh, in PSS. Uh, Dragon's Claw. I think that's um this is poison arrow in uh DSS. Dragon Cannon, this is basically four four three. Um I guess I'll put some down. Um four four three doesn't really have any use in neutral. It's not like Paul's death fist because it's not as fast. But um it does have a good um hit, um which calls not hit, what is it? Um at the end of combos. Like I I as you see um and, um let's see if I can get this. Weird. That is really strange. There we go. Anyways, that's basically what it's used for. It's basically a, a really strong ender for a combo. It's kind of hard to end it. It's not really hard, but it, it's um, it's a harder end option to end a combo with because you have to DSS it. Um, but it does give a lot of damage, so you know, use it um, as you will. You can get it off of Ford for the uh, Ford Three, the Legend, the the Shaolin Spin Kick uh, found option, but it is kind of hard to sign. Well, you guys know what I mean, I've told you already. Dragon Slight, I thought about that already. Dragon that straight Legend Kick, I thought about that already. Dragon Arrow, okay, this move. Um, this is basically his back people's four in DSS. Uh, Force can um, faint this move. Uh, this move is super bad on block, like negative 18, I think. But it does have a, it's one of those uh, back step faint, faint moves. Um, because he, he goes all the way back, and then it crushes a lot of moves. Uh, pretty much everything that doesn't go into his body, it'll crush everything. So, no reason to use it, I guess, if you think, maybe at the start of the round. It does, it does 33, pretty decent damage, and it does wall slat. Oh, maybe not that far out. Oops. Doing the wrong move. Well, you know what I mean, it wall flats. But it's super bad on block, so be careful when you use it. Um, I wouldn't use. I don't really use this move too much because it's kind of like you can just you can do that manually by just having good spacing instead of having to rely on a on safe move. So I personally don't use it. Dragon's descent. What is that? Is that? I didn't even know he had his dragon stomp. That that his up three plus four. Um, this move uh, is negative on hit. Two is negative on hit and just 47 on regular. I think this could be a potentially a good round ender because you don't see this move in uh, neutral at all. So it, it could be a good round ender because it hits low, but it's really unsafe. Like, I think this is launch punch wall, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's not punchable. So yeah, it is super launch punchable. Um. On Oki, they used to be able to use this Oki, but now that um, that Dragon's uh, whatever this move is called, four three plus four, it does it does the same thing as uh, up four three plus four, but it's safer um, I th and faster. I think this move, I think this move has lost its usefulness in um, in Oki, but um, because because of four three plus four, but um, it is a good dis disrespect move. Like you want to. Do that, they're pulling, tell them like they're, you know, tell them they suck or something, just keep doing that to them. It's really disrespectful. <laughs> um, 
It also has a weak hitbox. It's literally the hitbox is on his shoes, so it can't like it won't hit like like right over here. I mean, I guess it'll hit there, but it, it, it's it's very easy too with this move. Low kick somersault. What is this? Oh, this. Yeah, that basically is full crouch four four three. Um, it's the same thing as uh, down forward 4 3 and wall standing 4 3, the so high risk counter hit option launcher. This and full crouch 3 4, they're all the same thing. Except the trick to these two is that not a lot of people expect an extension after a generic down 3 and generic down 4, because these, these are generic moves, down 4 and down 3. But um, very few characters have follow ups to them. I think Wall might be the only one, I think. The only one who has an extension to this, so you could uh, bait people with that because um, negative down full cards three is negative on hit, so most people would think they could punish you afterwards. So apple spring kick. Okay, full wall. Okay, so down back two by itself is I mean is a good move because it's an elbow. It did the second hit of down of two two. Puts you in bad turn. Same thing as two two negative four on hit on on block plus seven on hit. Um, the extension. Um, well, first of all, this is a good way to get you back turn, but... The extension, uh, down back to 4, um, is a good move because, um, let's say, um, um, how can I say about this move? Well, I mean, it is weird knockback, it's, it's completely safe, um, there's no reason to throw it out there. I, I, mean, this, I don't even think this is guaranteed on a counter hit. Yeah, it's not even. But, a uh, good thing though is if they try to uh, attack you after that, uh, because they're because they're back turn, you can actually catch them with a 2 2. Because um, they're in that weird block stun, so uh, they think they can hit you, but they don't realize they're in that weird block stun. So you can hit them with a 2 2. It's a, it's a weird setup, and it's not guaranteed at all, but it is what it is. Also, if you hold down after this move, you can go into, um, um, you know, knockdown or whatever. You can also do this uh, manually by doing down back flips for it. Which is a launcher, for some reason. Um, I don't think I would show that. It has a hitbox. Well, do it from back turn, it has a better hitbox, I think. Hmm. I swear this is a launcher or something. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I'm wrong. I saw. I saw. I saw this as a launch somewhere. Let's, let me try. Um. Yeah, there we go. There's the launcher. Yeah, it's a launcher. Um, if they are really close to you, but you, because Law's doing, you know that, the the, the spring kick as an attack, he can't follow up. So it, it's pretty much just it, it's that. I don't even know if this wall spots. To be honest. Well, actually, hold on. Uh, let me just move you. Yeah, it doesn't walk by either. 54 though, that's a lot of damage. Oh, never mind. That's probably like 40 something. Uh, okay, next on the command list. Ooh, down back three, okay. Down back three. Alright, this move is really good. This move has good tracking. Um,. It uh it does twenty damage, has good range, it's law's primary low poke. Um it puts it plus three, I think. I think this is plus three. Uh yeah, plus uh, plus three puts him in puts him in full crouch, so it's really good. Uh counter is the same thing. Um this used to be negative twelve, now it's negative thirteen, so now it's uh it can be hit by a lot more generic uh wall standing like uh, medium level wall standing punishers. Um and it's really hard against like Kazuya, I think, because Kazuya has that nasty wall standing stuff. So, um, uh, yeah. So uh, basically, uh, it is what it is. It, it's basically wall's primary level. Not much to say about it, really. It's good for Oki, but fourth three plus four makes better Oki. So, um, always has grounded to. It's just wall's primary level, really. A, a very good move, but not much to say about it because of how simple, simple it is. Oh, Dragon's Tail. Okay. 
Okay, Dragon's Tail. Um, this move is potentially death on block because, well, let me just show why it's death. Now whatever, we saw the 100 through damage. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah. Dragon Tail, 40, uh, something damn, but 55, I think. Yeah, 55 for the combo, which is, uh, down back 4 4, back 4 3. Um, but, it has a decent, it has a good high crush, but it has a decent mid crush. It's just that, this is negative 40 on block, so. And you don't even get like a true combo like Ryan does, or Lei does, or um, Ling does, so it's the risk is not worth the real reward battle. The only time uh, you want to use this move is after wall sign 1-2, which gives you the guaranteed Dragon Tail. Um, or after face step 2, which also gives you, in fact face step 4, which also gives you a guaranteed Dragon Tail, if uh, they don't tank crash or something. So if I'm like, oops. Yeah, you can't stop that at all. You can't even block that. Um, <clears throat> so, um... And... Once. At, like, at the end of a round, once, I think. Because... Nobody really looks for this move anymore at, at higher level play because of how easily killable it is. So, um... It's, it's just, it's easy to be killed by this move. Very easy. It's, it's 24 frames, so it's not that slow, but it's enough that people will recognize it, so I personally think this move is just if they give a lot of combo, maybe, just maybe it would be worth using, but I think other than one time per per match, not round, per match, I don't I don't, I don't think this has any use really. Except for of course in like ulti situations. Like oh, after wall one setting one two or after uh fix step four. That's extension. It's unblockable and the blockable kind of sucks because it has one of the longest charge of times for an unblockable. And it doesn't even have. I mean, he steps forward, but it doesn't have good range. Um, so. A lot of damage to 7, but still. Not really that great. Uh, it hits mid. I mean, you, I suppose you could use it for paid, like, punishing raw tags, but. There's. Dra there's. Um. Dragonflight. I mean, what are the legend kick for that? So, and it's a much safer option. It's a much more guaranteed, like more probable, more practical option. So there's no really reason to use his unblockable. It does have uh, moves out of it, like a four one three, and um, I think that's it. Yeah, a four one three. <laughs> so, sort of fake. Frogman talked about that. Uh, Dragonstorm. What is this? Oh, back one two two. Um, back one two two is all guaranteed on counter hit. Both flats. So it's a good move. Um, for, it's also his, his minus 14 range punisher because of how far he steps forward. Uh, first unit to natural, not, last one's not, only encounter. 32. Uh, decent. You can DSS it, but you're actually negative even on hit. But not, a lot of people are scared of the last hit, so you can DSS it and get away with some things like that. Four. Ooh, like a wrap. Like especially I like doing a uh, back one two then the DSS throw. That's that seems to get people a lot because people are afraid of pressing buttons against uh, the last two. It's negative fourteen with knockback, but still it's not um, that much knockback, so you are still susceptible to fourteen. And it, this string is very steppable. Like um, after the first hit, um, I'm blocked. You can step the whole thing. I think very easy to step this string. Knuckle Rush is a bound move. Um, yeah, whatever you want. It's a uh, very similar to a bound move, back 2 2. Um, if you're new to Tekken, back to 2 is going to be a good bound move for you to learn because how simple it is. Um, doesn't really get that much use anymore. I use it because you can get that much easier than getting it off of this. But um, it also allows uh, mid poke. Uh, it's probably his best mid poke. Uh, because it is like really, I mean, outside of down forward one, um, 
because it has far range and it, it low, puts a lot into it's his footsie tool because it can test his range and it moves people it moves him closer. Um it's natural combo back to two. It's also the part of junkyard. Which I guess I'll talk about now because junkyard is part of this string. Um back to two, first of all, uh, you can DSS it at the end, but no reason to do that really. It's the same thing as DSing this, which no reason to do that either. So um so back to two. Um, okay, so it probably is primary with Punisher, because it has good range. Well, it does. It has, it has semi-good range. Um, and last hit's duckable though, so you can actually get, um, you can get punished for this, but because most people associate this with Junkyard, they're not looking to punish right away. Uh, so Junkyard, which comes right after you. Junk so anyways, about your Knuckle Rush, before I move on to Junkyard, it's a with Punisher, and 29 damage. It's also a 16 frame rage punisher, so you can, like, um, this is his punisher against Wall Standing 2, uh, or Paul's Death Fist, or Lee's Blazing Kick, anything like that. Um, okay. So, uh, Junkyard. Uh, situational move, as in, it depends on how good the opponent is. If the opponent is really sharp, they can parry the low, and you'll get a 35 damage, uh, parry combo. So, not good. So, it's hard to react to. Because how fast it happens, but it is not the hardest thing in the world, so it's definitely doable by a lot of players. So, Junkyard, uh, it may be uh, not a good option for you to uh, do. But, in case they cannot stop it, it is negative 9, but if you DS it perfectly, it's plus 6. Um, plus 6 to negative 7, I think, potentially, for DSS. From, like, you know, a worse DSS to perfect DSS. So you can, uh, same thing as 4-3, you can get some interrupt options like, um, like, uh, hook, hook punch, or, uh, forward one, or, um, DSS throw, or, um, dragon killer, whatever you want. Yeah, or, like, uh, one, oops. one forward one, whatever you want. So, same concept, and if, and the whole thing's not guaranteed on counter hit, but if the second hit is counter hit, the third one is guaranteed. It's also a uh, tag buffer. It doesn't really lead to the biggest combos though, because um, because um, it does leave that flip over stun. Up oh, one second. Had to let the dogs out. Uh, so yeah. So Junkyard, at least that weird flip over stun, so you can't really get anything crazy, unfortunately, so, but it is what it is. Also, this move doesn't have great tracking either, so it's it's easy to, um, you can't sidestep it, I don't think what it's doing, but if you delay it, it's easy to sidestep this move, and if you're doing it out here, it doesn't track very well if the opponent sidewalks or sidestep or something like that. Also, this is very good at walls. It's an easy uh, wall string for wall damage. What is this, um... Uh, this ring? Oh, whoops. This is the... the bad version of Junkyard. This is the... Drag junkyard into Dragon Tail, which... Um, it's the same, it's negative 37, which, oh, that's so much better than, than negative 40. Um, no, no reason to use this. It's the same thing as Dragon Tail, maybe once per match. Just to catch him, because you catch him off guard. Because everyone expects that, expects the mid pick, so maybe once, maybe once, maybe once, but other than that, no really reason to use it because it is super bad on block. No really reason to use it. Okay, back three is gonna be his primary homing move. Um, it's very, it's kind of slow, but it does a lot of damage. It's safe, but negative 11, but it does have super far knockback. Let me show this. Yeah, super far knockback, and it's only like negative 10 or 11, whatever, so it, it's pretty safe. And it's it looks like Dragon Tail, actually. The animation does look a little bit like Dragon Tail, so you can sort of mix it up at the wall. But then again, a smart player will know that never duck against the wall, so, you know. A smart player will not uh, duck against the wall. Uh, ooh, okay, Tiger Fang. Tiger Fang, this move is so good in Tekken Tag 2. 
So, um, Tiger Free and back 4 3 is gonna be one of his, his strongest um, 14 frame Punisher. Uh, it doesn't have as much good range as four, uh, Feebles 4 or Rat 2 2, but it does a lot of damage and a wall splats, natural combo. Man, look at that knockback, that's crazy. The, the amount of distance he knocks him back. So, um, yeah. Uh, second hit is duckable though, so you can get uh, punished pretty bad for that. But uh, the first part of it, back four, is just like all the other, um, just like all the other attacks. Um, negative. Oh, actually, it's uh, yeah, it's actually neg it's negative four on block, and it's plus six instead of plus seven on hit. But still, nonetheless, it is very good. What makes this really good, as opposed to back two, 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 and down back two, even though those moves are really good too. Uh, back four is homing, so they cannot sidestep, so they can't escape a back turn mix up. Um, so it's really good. Um, so you can do whatever back turn options you want, so away, um, down three into slide, um, down three into wall standing four, and then you know, VSS or hop kick, uh, back to two, whatever you want to do. So in general, um, back four three is really good. It's just really good for pressure because they can't sidestep it. And um, it, it's a really good addition to Law's game, I think. I mean, this was in Tekken 6, but um, it's much better in this game now. Uh, okay, so fake step. Okay, so the fake step. Um, I think I talked about this before in the tutorial. Um, all the same moves out of his DSS, except um, except they come out slower. See, they just come out a lot slower. Except for two. Two is uh, his wall standing too, but um. um Stronger. It's actually his strongest launcher. But that move is completely useless because no one will get hit by that. Um, if you get hit by it, you're basically you makes you look like a fool because you had to be so close to get hit by a you pressing buttons. So yeah. So yeah. Um, fixed up. Uh, fixed up moves. Well, I'll just show those. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be in the command list anyways. There we go. Oops. So tricky trap. Um, leaves him back turned. Uh, what's he mean? That's just one of the punches. Let me show this. And um, it's plus and leaves him back turned. So you can't get anything guaranteed. But um, what I like to do after um, this move is um, oops, is up forward one three because it's a very fast move and it dies in just close enough so they can get, he gets hit by it. So it makes it gives them very little time to react to it. So um, it's a good it's a good move for out there um, during that. Uh, what's next on the list? Tricky fist. Okay. Okay, that move. Uh, it's very simple explanatory. Um, it gives them the butt stomp, and if they don't tech roll it, you get a free down forward too. So you get a free launcher if they do not tech roll it. Uh, what's next? Mid kick. Okay, tricky mid kick. Um, it's the strongest option out of uh, a successful punch parry. Um, not really much use other than damage. It does wall splat though. So if they have their back to the wall, this will wall splat and you get a wall combo. So it's a good use for that, other than just being damaged. Tricky low kick. If they don't tech, you get a free dragon tail. Pretty much self explanatory. You get a really good OK position after this move, so you can do whatever you want. Okay, so that's that's all the fake set moves, because all the fake set moves are the same as the DSS moves. So let's skip all those. What's next? Dragon Arrow. I showed that already. Blackouts. Oh, I showed that. Okay, I'll talk about this move. Blackout Muggin. Huh. <laughs> I didn't think that was the name of that move. Um, this move, up forward 1-3, is a really good round ender because it's a very fast move. 26 damage is also decent as a poke. Um... Low high, uh, I think the last the hit is negative 13. I assume maybe only negative 11. Oh, it's negative 13. Yeah, it's negative 13. Okay. At least negative 13, anyways. Okay, this move is really good because it's a good round ender. Natural combo. Um, yeah, natural combo. Uh, so as long as the first one hits, the other one will be fine. And it'll be it's really fast, so they gotta react really fast to the low. Um, you can also just do the upward one and then think that there's gonna be a, like a low, and then um, then do like a mid or something like that. A really like really really scary way to end a round, like 
like a really good way to end round is do up forward one, down forward one, up forward one, down forward one. One of these options will have the low, but um, they're going to be so scared to block that they're not going to do anything about it. If they're pressured, that is. The, the way to get out of this is just to fight back because um, you're not plus on either of these. So the way to fight back is just to jab them. But, you know, they could be really scared. And uh, all of a sudden, throughout all of this, throw. And uh, goodbye health bar. <laughs> So yeah, this move is really good, uh, it has a far step in, um, it's pretty good neutral too for like one of those free hits, but you don't want to abuse it because the animation is recognizable, and after that hit you actually negative 2, yeah, yeah, negative 1, negative 1, 3, whatever. So you just want to block out this move. Somersault. Oh, the fake flip. Fake flip. Oh, this move. Uh, hold up 4, up 4, 3, um... Well, just tap up 4 3 and then 4. This move is, is Law's strongest, um. His strongest, um. Tag filler. Um, let me try to show that. Actually, it doesn't matter because I have, um. 4s. Yeah, so if you can land that in a combo, that's probably your best thing, best option. Um, so this move is really good, uh, for damage in combos because it does so much. Um. If you can't get this, the next best thing to do, um, in my opinion, is down 1 3. Because it, that move will hit after 7 plus hits. 7 to, seven to 9, I think this will hit. And it will uh, still carry them pretty far. And it's really low to the ground, too. So it's also very good. Oh, okay, that's what that is. Okay. Somersault. Okay, so flip kicks. Um, a single flip kick has its use because it's a really good footsie tool. Like, kind of a keep away tool because the same thing as Magic 4. It's just not as good because... Well, flip kick is unsafe. Um, but it has a little bit of knockback. Let me try to show this. Actually, let me show this now. Flip like that, like this. Yeah, see, um, it's a really hard move to punish even though it's, it's launch one control. Because, um, it, it leaves him in full crouch. So, it's like, what do I do? I can't launch this guy, I can't down, down for two of him. You can't even hop kick because, because of how much um, knockback there is. So it's knockback plus full crouch. So it's a pretty safe option. If you don't, if, because you're not really gonna get launched, it's pretty safe. Um, I think though, like, range punishers will get it though. Yeah, see so, like a 2 plus 4, or like a back 2-2 two, two, I think as well. Yeah, back 2-2. Two, 4-3 two. Four, uh, 4 will also get it. Uh, so yeah, 4-3-4s four, four will also get it, but at least you won't get launched for it. That's the plus side. Um... Uh, all the flip, the flip kicks you can go in multiple directions, like, um, the back flip kick, up flip kick, um, whatever you want to do. They're pretty safe by itself, but, um, they're just, you know, um, fishing for that launcher, like, fishing for a person's buttons, might as well do that, that flip kick. Uh, so, and you can get a really good combo after it. You can do a little bit more damage. I can do more damage, but that's just a sad problem. Okay, back for the regular flip kicks. This move sucks. Don't use it. Um, even as a range punisher, I mean, like as a tag in punisher, really, the safer option really is just dragon flight. So moves like negative a billion. Same thing as dragon yard, dragon, um, dragon tail. So yeah, no reason, no reason to use this. I guess it is. I mean, one of his. I mean, if you do get that raw tag in punish with this, it does lead to a lot of damage. We can do that. And his wall carry pretty far, but eh, there are better moves. This is one of this law is really unsafe, so. Grand Discord, I'll get that to that. Uh, 
Okay, this move is only really good. Forward, forward, two, one, three. This move is only really good for combos. I got the end of the bound. Like this, this is a basic combo. Yeah, so forward, forward, two, one, three. Um, the first two hits are natural, but the third one is never guaranteed. Not even a counter hit, the third one is guaranteed. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, last hit. Second hit is high anyways. There's no reason to use a neutral because it's slow. So, yeah, this is only good for combos pretty much. You can super delay it, but that, I think that's only for extending like the wall. Like, like this. Well, like that, like you could uh, float them farther so you can get closer to the wall. And then there's 4423, which is pretty good as a whip punisher as well. It's, su it's, it's very unsafe on block. It's like a 17, but um, I think it has a little bit of pushback, not that much though. Yeah, it has really good pushback. So, and if you don't delay it, um, the second hit does not. The second hit. I mean, if you delay it, which you're like trying to confirm it, the second hit does jail. So I mean, it does not jail. So they can't duck the second hit if they if you try to hit confirm it for too long. So not good. Um, but of course this is weak to range range punishing like a four three plus four or I mean a back to two whatever. It also wall flats, as you saw earlier. Talked about that move already. Sudden move this is one of his new moves. It's um it's negative fourteen. Um this move um bounds naturally, half combo, get a mini combo afterwards, whatever you wanna do. I think you can do like um like that? No, no, never mind. Whatever you you can you can get like a four, up down for a two minute. No. Oh you can. Well, oh, I'll remember that later. Uh, anyways, this is a decent whip punisher. Um because it does lead to a combo, but it's also a 17 frame punisher, I think. But it's it doesn't have good range. Like the like the initial hit doesn't have good range. Even though Lost Steps forward, I don't think the initial hit has good range, because I don't really like using this move in general because of that first move doesn't really have good range to it. I'd rather with punch with that or back to two because it's more reliable. Um, you do that whatever you want. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, right, your legend kick is also really good at a, at the end of uh, tag assault fillers. Uh, um, also really good in Oki. This move will catch back rollers. So, uh, let's show, let's show this. Yeah, so if they try anything, getting up wrong in a situation that you control, um, 4 4 3 will catch them. Uh, however, if they're grounded still, um, oops, that's me. Silly me. Oh, now we're both grounded. Oops. Yeah, see, um, let me try to fix this. Uh, it doesn't hit on the on the feet, but it does hit everywhere else. The problem is, if they try to go for it and they're not getting up wrong and just get that first hit, that's all you're gonna get. Um, the second hit does not hit grounded at all. Plus, um, they get a guaranteed uh, wake up four. So. Um, Actually, I don't even know if they, if they, if they do a get up 3, a big counter hit, let me see. Ah, uh, that's not a counter hit, so... Yeah, they could get a free get up kick if um, you mess this up. So, it's kind of risky. You'll kind of trade damage, but I suppose. There are better OP options. Fister and Rush move is completely butt, other than being a homeless Bruce Lee. <laughs> so, um... I'll show this. So yeah, this move, um, completely, uh, meh. 
to say the least. Um, because only the first two hits are natural. Last one's not. Last one's a launcher. If you encounter it, it's guaranteed. Yep. It does have a strong launcher, but I mean, this move has really bad range. It's 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 useless. It's it's pretty much useless. Other than looking cool. <laughs> Other than looking cool, it's pretty much useless. No, I got shuffle right there. Like a shuffle step. Um, running sidekick. Oh, his, his running three is really good. It's um better than a uh, generic running three. It has um. A lot of plus frames on block like most running threes, and it has a longer hitbox. It, you can mix this up with full crouch, like like um like uh do, do his crouch dash in and then do um do like an instant raw raw running three. Well that's not instant, but yeah, something like that, that's more instant. Um for the mix up, because this was wall flat. Uh, finishing fist. Oh, that's what. Oh, flash fist. That's what I thought about finishing fist. This move is really good. While, while standing one two, um, comes up and knocks him down, and uh, you get a guaranteed dragon tail. Uh, unless you're slow about it. Like nothing you can do will prevent the dragon tail. Oops, unless you block, of course. Oops. Try to block low. Dragon Tail. Get a pick. Dragon Tail. Back roll. Get a Dragon Tail. Quick recovery. Can't. <laughs> yeah, get a three. Nah, nothing. Dragon Tail will beat every option. So, uh, best thing to do is just to take the hit. And knock him knock far back. Take as least damage as possible. If you try to get up, you'll get, you'll get eaten by the damage. Oops. Um, first hit is like negative six, seven ish, a uh, safe. Um, you can DSS it too for like even more negative, um, less frames. But um, not really a good option to be honest. I don't think it's that crazy of an option. Um, second hit is launch punishable and it's high, so it's very it's unsafe. But um, this is natural combo, so you can if you hit if you recognize you can hit it, just go right ahead because. Um, it's pseudo hit confirmable um, because you, they can block it if you delay it for too long, like that. But if you do like a little delay like that just to see if you can do it, it is uh, definitely uh, guaranteed. Oops. So that's that's um 34 plus 27. That's um. What is that? That's uh, four something there. Before that's um, is that like 50, 60, 61, I think. Sixty one, I think. Um, so yeah, good move. Um, if you DSS the second hit, it's um negative nine, and then you go for like the punch parry thingy, so you could uh, make yourself safe, or at least attempt to. But um, a good player will always duck the second hit anyway, so it's it's bad luck. <laughs> this is really good for this full crouch game, by the way. Instead of doing wall standing two, you just do wall standing one two. And it's like 61 damage anyway, so it's worth the damage. Um, Dragon Uppercut, Wall 72, uh, Law's, um, one of Law's more famous moves. Um, Tank Bufferable, really good, uh, 15 frame, uh, Wall Standing Punisher. A lot of damage. So, um, it's, ne it's, a, it's negative 17, 18, I think, on block, with, with significant pushback. So you can't uh, punish it normally, but if you do have a ranged punisher, um, it will lose to that. Um, this is also part of his full crouch game, once again. Can't react to either, you have to guess, the slide or wall standing too. Unsafe at the wall, of course, because the knockback is nullified. Yep. Yeah, you're, you're pretty much screwed there. Slide kick, talked about this already. Well, I didn't really talk about this, but this move is kinda obvious for what it's used for. It's um Law's uh primary mix-up tool, 29 damage plus the plus the down three, which is like 10 damage. This is guaranteed. Um so it's like 
40 damage low. 40 damage low. Um, really good. Can't react to it. Have to flow juggle it. Happens really fast. So, um, if they can't recognize that they blocked it and they failed the punish, um, it's pretty much safe. So, um, you know, if the opponent can't, uh, adapt to float juggling you, you're, uh, this is a pretty, uh, amazing move. Man. <laughs> oh, that, that, this is, um, wait a second. That's called, s oh, that's sidekick. I thought it was slide kick. I was, I was wondering why the animation was, like, the command was different. Anyways, I talked about slide already. Once again, main mix-up tool, really good. Lots of damage. Um, lots of free damage, essentially. Um, just pretty much free damage, essentially. Um, just use it whenever you want to do the mix-up game. While sending two, while sending one, while sending four, or, uh, or, or um, slide. Okay, so this kick, this move, slide, side kick, um, this is like, um, safe. Very safe on, uh, block. Three. It's, uh, actually plus one on block, but it's auto DSS. You don't have to, um, do any button, it moves into DSS automatically, or DFS, and you forward. So, um, when you do back forward forward, you are plus 13 on block, so this is a really good move, but it's very slow. So, um, that's something to know about it. But you are plus anyway, so it doesn't matter. And it's, it's a high. So you can do whatever DSS mix up you want from here. Uh, talked about that move already. Talked about that move already. Talked about that move already. Oh, his big flip kick. This move kind of is... It's kind of, man. I mean, if you want to do this, you might as well do a uh, full crouch flip kick, which are faster than normal flip kicks. Which are like, this should be full full crouch flip kicks are like 18, 17 frames, I think. So, um, might as well use these instead of um, a wall standing tube, because these are stronger than a wall standing tube. But I don't think these are, oh, these are, these are, um, tagable. And there's like, so yeah, Focus Flick is basically just for, um, basically just for, um, stronger, uh, wall combo punishing at, um, block punishing. Like, uh, launch punishing, but stronger than wall standing too. Um, this move, like, the big keg, this doesn't really have that much use, because it, it's the same frame I think, as this move, so you might as well do that. You might as well do, um, a flip kick. Or a double flip kick, for that matter, anyway. <laughs> But then again, the little flip kicks are not taggable, so you might want to just use a single flip kick for the tag. Next is, uh, what is this? Well, during side step, oh, this move. Uh, this move used to be better. Uh, I hear my dog's barking, and you're just gonna have to ignore that. Um, this move, uh, Dragon Judgment, it's, it's okay. It's it's kind of slow. Uh, on counter hit, the whole thing's guaranteed. You can sort of confirm it by because the third hit will uh, land on counter hit, but, the th but on counter hit, the third one will not. It leaves Law in a really, really negative position, but it does have really good knockback. But still, um, I do believe range punchers can still get it if you have a really far one. Um, you can DSS out of all of these. Um, this used to be better in Tekken 6 because you could just parry any retaliation of this move. So, um, but you can still do, um, hook punch, so you're still safe. And also, it's, it's very hard to recognize DSS out of this move because you might think he's delaying it because you can delay this move sort of. It's like a mini delay. Double Dragon, also a very good move, very good evasive move, it has evasive properties. Um, it's like a double sidestep, and then it's, it's basically 3 plus 4 in a sidestep, except it does more damage, and um, so yeah, after that, they're knocked down, and if they get it wrong, you get a 3, 4, 4, 4, 3. So this one is really good for uh, punishing moves that, I'm mean, punishing strings that are sidesteppable. Next to that is back turn, oh, okay, now we're doing back turn stuff. Um, this is getting a long video, but Law has a lot of moves, so what do you know? Um, for a simple character, he has a lot of moves, but actually a lot of his moves are just moves of the same thing. Like, like, these are kind of like, this counts as one of his moves when really it's just this, so. Okay, so, uh, 
Blind double combo. It's a hit confirmable natural combo of uh, a lot of damage uh, mid mid. 49, lots of damage. Um, does wall splat. So a lot of good damage right there. And counter hit. First one is a uh, natural combo uh, launcher. You can't do that. Might just have to do back to two. Anyways, whatever. Um, it is uh, it's, the first hit is negative fourteen. And you can hit it from this pretty well. It's very uh, delayable. Um, so you can recognize the hit. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. First hit's negative 14, second hit's negative 18. And no no knockback, no nothing, so you're pretty, uh, pretty free if, if you, uh, decide to delay it and continue with it. Wolf Fang, oh, this move? This move's okay. It's high mid. Um, it's in case, you know, they're ducking against, preemptively against back turned. And then they, they see the high, and then they want to do a mid, they want to punish you, they might get scooped up by the mid. Um, what else is there? There's... It's guaranteed on counter hit, but not on natural, I think. Not on natural. But I counter hit, I do believe, this is a wall slide. And get a lot of damage. Yep. 100 damage. One zero zero. Uh, this was okay, I mean, it's it's kind of like a good back poke, but I really... It's not one of Law's better back turn moves, it's okay though. Back turn 4-3 is, it's okay. Because, I mean, if the set, first hit was a mid, that would make it much better than back turn 2 because it's a bit safer. Because this thing is only a negative 12, I think. So, it's a lot safer. Now reverse low, okay, this is his launcher from back turn. So yeah, uh, reverse low, uh, launch punishable uh, low launcher. Uh, but it's like Fang's back turn low launcher or, or Lay's back turn low launcher. Um, so uh, you want to try to land this if you can, so you could scare people with mids a lot because a lot of people know about this. Um, so they'll try to preemptively duck against low, Law either because of down three or because of down four. So. Um, what you want to do is just scare them with the mids and stuff so they start ducking again. Condition them to uh, stand up so you can get up the low. It's kind of hard to recognize this subtle low, but it's not, you know, the hardest thing to uh, realize that this move is coming. And of course, down three. It's not on the command list, but this move is just generally good for low pokes, because in general, this is a really good option for lock because it gives them free uh, low poke damage. And then, of course, it gives them full crouch for a slight mix up. And then he has a uh, bat from Batcher, which is completely useless. <laughs> this is this move is I don't think this move has any use. Other than Batcher, you know. Yeah, there's, there's no there's no reason to use this move. Those walls are Batcher though. Oh, I think that hits high. No, it's high. Tiny combo. Well, speaking of his tiny combo, let's talk about his second one. Oh, which one is it? His uh, his fourth one. Sorry. Yeah, it's fourth one. Down forward one is neutral on hit, so it's a very good low. It's a very good mid pick, mid poke. Um, so do that, poke him, whatever. Do that, that again, or like this, and then punch parry, or this, and then one two, um, whatever you want to do. And then um, it's kind of like a weird chaining natural hit confirm because this this is not guaranteed. I mean, actually, it does. This is guaranteed. Sorry. Um, as long as each hit of the thing connects, the whole thing, well not the whole thing, but the first three hits are guaranteed. So if this hits, the third, the second is guaranteed. And the second hit's guaranteed, the third hit is guaranteed. So, um, it's 29 damage actually, so it's a really good, uh, string, if you can get, if you can get them hit by it, because it's very fast, very hard to recognize. Um, it's another one of those good, um, round ending tools. Also in, gen in general, a good as a low poke, because nobody wants to press buttons against this especially, because um, a lot of down forward one extensions in the game usually have a second mid, but this one has a low, so it kind of like forces people to duck. So it makes some people even more scared. And you know, if they don't hit block that low or parry it, they're gonna get scooped up by the second mid. Um, I think this is like negative 11, I think. Negative 11 or 12, one of them, one of them, two. Or just jab punishable. We'll find out. Oh, 
Okay, fall. Okay, so it's negative 12. This move is negative 12. Yep, negative 12. Uh, other moves. Uh, so yeah, his down forward one three two is a really good move. It's a really good string. Um, if you want to be cocky, at the end of rounds you can scare people like like do this, like hit him with that. But like the rest of the tenet combo, it's a really funny way to to exp like to beat people because they just like oh no I got hit by tenet string I suck. So you know everyone expects the the string to be over after they get hit by it, but then really it just keeps going because. The reason people want to press buttons after um, this um, down forward one three two is because um, it's negative three on hit. So you have, you have to block after it unless they don't know, unless they don't know like about it, or they do a jab or something you punch parry. So you know whatever you want. Um, his throw. Let's talk about his OP already. I'll just show his throws, I guess. Talk about the knockback throw. This one, if you hold down, at least you back turn. And then you can do down four if you try anything get up. You can do go for a combo. But you do, it's kind of risky though. It is kind of risky. That's the problem. And if you don't hold back turn, you just, you just, you know, kind of. Uh, his down four one plus two throw. You don't really see this move too much because, um. It's. It, you, you don't see this move too much because it's, um. It, you just do 4-4-3-4, four, because four, four, this one's much better. It's just better 1-2 uh, throw. Um, in case you don't want to do that, do 1-4-1-2-1-2. 1-2. Uh, um, it's just 40 damage 1-2 plus two throw. It's more of a standard 1-2 plus two throw compared to other characters. Um, you can't break the extension, you just have to break the, um, the first part of it, which is 1-2. plus two. And if you do uh, the second part of it, it's um, more damage, 5 more damage, and you get a good OP boost. I gotta get up wrong or something. Like a back roll. Oh, you were supposed to back roll there. Oh, I set him a quick Wait a second. I did send him a back quick ball. Hmm. Uh, back. Oh, maybe just back roll. I don't know. There we go. So you can catch him like a uh, down four, a uh, down four, four, three plus four, 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 three plus four. I mean four, four, uh, three. That was hard to say. <laughs> um. So yeah. Um. You could also waste time by just doing this because this move is a really long throw animation. If you want to do that, that is kind of gimmicky, but it is what it is. And uh, of course he has his uh, run up throw. Which is a really good throw. It uses his knee to throw you. Has really crappy range. Forces actually has a little bit better range. But um, you can disguise this by running at them and then do the throw. Like that. Or, um. That was a really bad one. Yeah, like that. Like run into them and then do it. Because th it's really hard. It's really fast. It's, it's still a 12 frame throw. But it's still really hard to recognize because he doesn't use his hands. So, and the window's pretty short for this throw. So, it's a one break, but it's a really good uh, throw option. Um, the reason a lot of people don't use Law's regular throws is because well, this one doesn't leave you um, in an okay position, and this one leaves you um, at like a really not plus okay position, I think. So, and this one, so this one's really fast, and um, you know. This one's really good because this is a combo starter and taggable. Thing is though, you have to do a lead dash forward to get the combo. It's kind of annoying because if you just try to regulate, they, they land too far. Yeah, they that even combo. It's kind of weird to combo off with this move. You could just do a four three. Yeah, if you want to do it a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, those are, um, Headlock Punch, I mean, yeah, I've talked about that already. Talked about that move. Parry, oh, his parry's really good. Um, let's see in a second. If you, um,
I move really hard. Whoops. Anyways, um, his parry, it basically puts him into a free position where you can do back, forward, forward, and you do DSS out of it, and then you can do, uh, one, four, or one, forward, one. Primarily it's still one, forward, one, though, because, um, you do, uh, get 36 damage guaranteed. Which, this, this, uh, parry does stop all, uh, mid, mid and high kicks and punches. No lows, no elbows, no swords, no heads, no bodies, no backs, no shoulders, nothing like that. Um... And that's Lost Command List. Um, that was a long video. It was actually long than the tutorial because talking about every move now, and I guess suppose every move is longer than the top ten list. So um, I suppose with that being said, um, hope hopefully you uh, you guys got a better idea of what laws better moves are. So yeah, I guess I have nothing else to say. So I guess this has been Pepper So Spicy, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.